In response to the rise in hate crimes against Asian Americans, organizations have been working to support communities across the country. And now the Asian American Foundation and their partners have launched the CS Unite campaign, a multi-platform effort working to accelerate impact and, and expand support. Aided by leading figures across the country, the campaign communicates the needs, contributions, and history of Asian Americans. So joining me now is the executive producer of the See Us Unite campaign and Asian American Foundation board member, Sheila Lirio Marcello. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, so can we talk a little bit more about the See Us Unite campaign? What is the mission? The mission is actually to create a broad awareness campaign to continue to support um, the call to action of stopping Asian hate. We wanted to make sure that this was an enduring campaign to really address the issues of the model minority myth uh, that has been um, perpetuating um, the concerns around our community of not getting enough support. About 0.2% of foundation grants go towards, as of last year was measured, go towards helping uh, AAPI communities. We wanna make sure at the Asian American Foundation that we continue to increase that overall to, because again, this model minority myth assumes that Asian Americans don't need help. And it's also to react to continue to support stopping Asian hate and to ensure that we, that we continue to support the call to action for our community. Um, one of the main pillars of the campaign is education. Uh, Asian Americans have had a long history of making meaningful contributions to American society, but often these stories are not shared. Um, you know, often when you hear about these cases of hate crimes, whether they are violent or subtle, you know, people will say, go back to where you came from or ask, where are you from? And the idea that you could be Asian and 100% American, you know, often is lost on many people. How is this campaign highlighting some of these stories and, and the contributions that Asian Americans have made? That's right. Part of education is we want to humanize the stories. Often, Anne-Marie, that racism mm. and hate is also often driven by uh, the issues of not uh, thinking that these people are human. We want to make sure that uh, faceless victims are, are ever present to people and people understand that these are really human beings, we're all Americans. And so education is really important. The reason it's called CS Unite is also a sense of solidarity. One of the one of the grantees that we support, the Asian, uh, Asian American um, for Justice, uh, they've already supported 50,000 bystander training. We wanna make sure that incidences where an Asian American woman, for example, where her head is actually kicked in uh, on 43rd Street and we see doormen shutting the door we want to prevent incidences like that by providing more training and opportunity and to and to see this sense of solidarity that anyone who gets hurt, that we are all helping each other, irrespective of race, ethnicity, mm -hmm. gender orientation, or whatever it may be, that we are all Americans. Um, you brought up the model uh, minority myth. I think for some people, that phrase is going to be new. Um, mm. So can you can you revisit that? Explain what it means. And you know, I, this is sort of a little bit my own personal opinion because we've talk, been talking about how the numbers of hate incidents against Asian Americans has kind of skyrocketed. But I I actually believe that this sort of stuff has been happening all along, and. You know, this country has not been paying attention. And a little bit, it has to do with the model minority myth and also the otherness, um, the way we make um, Americans of a variety of backgrounds, including Asian Americans, other. So can you just explain the model minority myth, why it is damaging, and why sometimes it serves to cover up, you know, some horrible things that have been happening in this country for many years? Right. There's an assumption that the small percentage of, of Asian Americans that are highly educated and accomplished um, uh, represent the Asian American Pacific Islander community or what we call the AAPI community and that a majority of us do not need help, which is actually counter. Uh, it's a myth. It's not actually true. Uh, there's a sense of uh, specific income needs and support uh, uh, we are certainly a minority group. We make up 7% of the population, but as I mentioned, only 0.2% of foundation grants actually support this group. And it's often assumed that we are invisible, that we will keep our heads down and we will stay quiet and we won't complain and we won't actually speak up. 
Well, that's obviously changing. You're seeing that in government uh, with the COVID-19 hate act that's being pushed through. Uh, we're super excited about Erica uh, Moritzku and that President Biden and his administration okay. is now actually supporting a liaison. So I think that all of us are coming together to speak up against this myth, Anne-Marie. And I think that that is critical and that's part of our CS Unite campaign, the sense of solidarity as a group, really speaking up and it's historical for us. So you just brought up what was going to be my next question to you, which is about this um, liaison to the Asian American and Pacific Islanders community that President Biden has appointed. I do want to get your take on this. Um, do you think that this is going to be an impactful move? Sometimes you hear about liaisons and nothing really gets done, but you sound like you're, you're heartened by hearing about this. Uh, we are heartened by hearing about this. I love the fact that Senator uh, Duckworth really pushed this through and, and spoke up along with uh, Senator uh, uh, Hirono. Uh, and I think um, uh, Erica's background uh, with the National Partnership for Women and Families and especially supporting women of color um, in light of the tragedy in Atlanta. So we're excited that that liaison is gonna happen um, in terms of seniority and the position and speaking up and, is, and it's timed well. Um, specifically to work um, with getting uh, the bill passed between set, uh, uh, the Senate and Congress that we're excited about. All right, um, Sheila, uh, Lirio, Marcelo, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. You can tune in for the CS Unite for Change special on Friday, May 21st at 8 p.m. Eastern and Pacific across all MTV platforms. Hosted by Ken Jeong, the event will feature musical performances and guest appearances and explores the history and contributions of the AAPI community.